Hello everybody, this is Omega and we have, yes, the December unboxing of The Witch's Moon. I'm so happy to bring this to you. I just got this today. So let's do it. I formed a portion of this just to the opening and I showed one thing basically, but there was a camera error, actually more like operator error. Um, so I'm starting all over again. So here is the theme and it's Nature's Guardian Spirit. And it is, um, as the cool air makes strides through the dark, brilliant forest, da 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 da, -da. Um, okay. Anyways, <laughs> it's a lot to read, so I don't want to bore you guys with that. So what I will do, I'll hold this up so you can pause it and read it on your own. Um, you may want to wait so you don't. I'm sure you want some of you want to be surprised with the goodies. So later, if you want to come back to this and unpause it, and this is the second page, and you guys can go back to this. And on the top, of course, this is tied with a twine, and you get the the parchment with it, and another oracle card. Hair on the bird, create a place in nature stillness and be re renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Why do I keep seeing this in oracle cards about patience? This is not the first time. I'm not a very patient person, so maybe, I don't know, this is interesting. So here's my oracle reading. The first herb that I pulled, um, actually this is bark, it's birch bathe or birch bark and this is used for purification inception and fertility spells and it's also traditionally used for the besom beltane fire and yule log very strong power and sacredness and you guys can read the rest i'll just quickly go through the vital statistics here gender feminine planet venus element water deity thor and the next one here is I'll pick this one because I saw the writing slippery elm okay commonly known for halting words spoken badly about others it's a must in the witch's cabinet when used in incense or magical powders has the ability to allow us to be unseen and invisible to the prying eyes of predators a common incantation associated with these spells goes as follows Things seen and things not seen. Let me walk here in between. Oh, I like that. Gender feminine, planet, planet Saturn, element air. So that's the slippery elm. And the last bark, there's like three barks here this time I noticed. And this is white oak. Powerful protection agent. Companion needed for Grand Endeavors, removing negative energy and bringing the strength of willpower to any situation you may face. And, okay. So it genders masculine, planet sun, element fire, deities, Hecate, or Hecate, depending on how you pronounce it, Thor, Pan, and Dagda. All right, so we have those three. And we also have this beautiful, once again, this very beautiful, print here and this is tree guardian beautiful really love these and then the sigil work that I pulled out earlier and I'm noticing more and more sigils with the witch's moon box which is great because I use sigils a lot and I really appreciate them I think they're really useful and with sigils, you can use the ones out here or you can look up on the internet and just look at pictures of sigils and print them or draw them yourself, either way, whatever works for you. I find them very useful. So, obviously you guys can't smell it, but it does smell awesome. So, it's covered in this kind of cream colored paper with the brown guts. And the next thing is the bath salts. It smells like. Mmm. It's almost like 
a trace of cinnamon with something very herbal, plant-like, like cedar or something, I don't know. Let's see what it says, salt. Yule Sacred Salt. And what is it made with? Cedarwood. Uh, we enchanted the sacred salt with pine and cedarwood oils as well as holly and bay leaf. We've also included a special mixture of our Yule magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Very nice. I love the smell of this. And the next one is the oil. I think this is what they put in it as well, in the salt. And I love it that the Witch's Moon gives oils every month because they're not cheap to make. And it has, it looks like it's got some filtrate in here, some herbs. So, Tree Guardian, okay. Mmm. Okay, it's on the first and second page. Or... Tree Guardian. What it looks like. Symbol of protection and strength. The intention of bringing you grounding and protective energies. Very nice. And I feel stone. Crystal, stone. Ooh, this looks like lapis. Like it. I don't have lapis yet. This is my first lapis. Oops. There you go. See the streaks of blue in it? And let's see what they write about the lapis. Rough lapis stone. We have handpicked. The rough lapis stone was placed inside your box. It's a stone. Uh, dating back to the ancient Egyptians, used to entomb and decorate the pharaohs. Power and vibrations to open the path of self knowledge in order to uncover the truest truths. Okay. Come on, Freddy. Oh, Freddy, come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. Why do you do this all the time? Okay. Okay, we'll say, say hello for now, and then we'll play later, okay? We'll play later. Mommy has work to do, okay? Go down just for a little bit. This won't be long. Okay? Just for a little bit. Come on. Thank you. So it comes in this nice satin bag. And the next is, oh, finally, finally, I've been asking and I've been commenting about this, how tired of sage I was. Finally got a bundle that's not sage. That smells like cedar too. Oh, it smells delicious. Cedar sage bundle. Okay, it is cedar. Cedar tree has been revered as sacred symbol for thousands of years. House gods bearing entrance to the highest of spiritual realms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have invited the smoke of cedar sage into core rituals where we wish to connect with nature spirits. Beautiful. And it smells really good. It smells like incense. I look forward to burning it. And speaking of incense, mm, very cedary. Smells very similar. Where is it? Well, it's basically the same thing. And you guys know it comes, the incense is, I think there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I think is very generous every month. And it's high quality um, incense. I mean, this isn't cheap incense. And I can tell it's made with 
a lot of care, essential oils, not cheap stuff. And the next, I believe, was a hand rolled. It says Seat Zenitidem Spiritus Spell Candle, hand rolled and charged with the purpose of strengthening the bond between self and nature's spirit. And that's what this is. So every box you get the salt, you get the oil, you get the incense, you get the candle, and the spell if you want to use it. And always just, and one thing I want to say, and I've said this before about the witch's moon, these aren't cheap chime candles. These are hand rolled beeswax candles, very expensive. Huge difference. And I think, yeah, it said that they had oils and, what is it? Hand rolled and char okay, charged. It's been enchanted with cedar wood, juniper berry, and sandalwood oils. We've also included a special mixture of our earth magical oil from our personal cabinet into the rolling of this candle. Nice. It's another beautiful candle from the Witch's Moon. Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention about the salts, you can use these jars, you can recycle them, and after you're done with them, make your own salts. You could take the oil that you have, put a couple drops and mix it with, um, I use kosher ground salt, and sometimes I'll do half and half of um, Epsom, Epsom salts, mix it together, and it's, amazing and you can you can keep using these I, I keep them I think they're great and it's a good way to save money too and next I've been trying to like not focus on this because I know this is the big one here okay, just make sure there's nothing else very pretty and it has I don't know if you guys can see this uh, it's like a leaf how nicely packaged that is. Even the paper smells good because of all the incense and oils and everything. I just, just such a good job, the Witch's Moon. I'm just really, and especially getting all those other boxes that charge me almost as much as the Witch's Moon, but the quality isn't there. I mean, a lot of cheap ingredients. So I stopped subscribing to the Box of Shadows, and I did the same with um, Magical Folk. They weren't quite as cheap as, well, I won't say cheap, you know, they had some good quality things, but nothing that would, I don't think it was worth that much money uh, that they charged, but you certainly get what you pay for with the Witch's Moon. You really, I mean, I don't feel bad about paying that amount every month because I know I'm gonna get something that's, you know, worth it, something I can use. That's pretty. Okay. There we go. Oh, and just, I don't know, I do this. I take, when I write my petitions, I use either uh, the brown paper bags that you get at the grocery store, or you can use this and tear it and write your petitions on it. You don't need fancy parchment, you know, if you, if you don't want to, this works just as well. Ooh, look at that. It's like a tree spirit. And you can hang it up. It's got, it's got a little, looks like a keyhole, it's basically something you can, you can hang it and put a nail on the wall and hang it. Look at that. It's got like a little crystal there. Nice. Okay, let's read about it. Hand carved tree guardian spirit with Paua shell inlay. These very natural tree guardians have been ethically sourced from over 500 different species of fallen trees and branches. So they don't cut down the trees, they're actually already fallen, which makes me feel good. Each tree guardian has been hand carved and stained with the utmo utmost, sorry, up, utmost respect for the spirit and vibration within. 
Trees are the ancient companions that we seek to gain knowledge from, standing tall and vibrant long before we could stand ourselves. As well as holding natural beauty, trees can communicate with us with a clear consciousness. Let's see. It's really long, so I won't read all of it. After cleansing the tree guardian, you can charge its energy with crystals and tokens. As you get to know this companion, you can start asking questions during meditation, along with divination tools such as tarot, rune scrying, etc. This will amplify your ability to connect with the wisdom held. Where was it? The divination tools, okay. Messages provided for you. We have placed a hanging plaque on the back of each tree guardian. That's a little doohickey there. And then the crystal on the forehead is to offer good luck, prosperity, and peace. In the Maori practice, these shells were gifted to one another, strengthening the bond of companionship. Each guardian that has been carved is slightly different in shape, color, and vibration. So you may get something that's slightly different. We have a special bond with nature and truly hope that this energy brings magic and guidance into your life. Interesting. I think it's really, it's unusual. I haven't seen this um, in their moon shop. At least I haven't lately. I really like it. So here you have it, the witch's moon for December. I'll show everything again. You have your own oracle card and the beautiful artwork. The beautiful lapis stone. Three different tree barks. Slippery Elm, Birch Bark, and White Oak. And then what I love is the Cedar Sage Bundle. It smells so good. The Sigil, the Incense, the spell candle, the beeswax spell candle, the bath salts, and the oil. Let's not forget about our oils. And last but not least, this wall plaque of the tree spirit. And I'll go ahead and stack them up here so you guys can get a better look of it. Just kind of. All right, here we go. Let's see that. Get a better. How do I switch this around? Sorry guys, it's been a long night. I guess I'll just do it this way. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, something rolling away. Great sound effects. There we go. So this is the witch's moon. And this is for 
December 2018. I'll move it this way, maybe you can see it better. I haven't had this many malfunctions on my camera lately. Don't know why. Anyways, here you guys go. And um, put this up here.